Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. It's locked. Sure thing. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, and I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You heard me. Look, I'll tell you this. Chen Lin, cell Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. All done. Get over here! Sometimes there's precious need for folks like that. All done. Get over here. Sometimes there's... A cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere. some money. Okay. Oh, what's that smell? There ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. deserve to be locked up in a place like this. Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Elizabeth, a little help? Looks easy enough. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. Done. Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you're 
find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it! Not hyenas! Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Who the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want What from... do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but... It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? I can open ready now. Another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty can be instructive. And what is Columbia, if not the schoolhouse of the Lord? I don't understand. 
understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Some money. This whole Want business it? makes my head hurt.
So you beware the hyena. They will leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter. Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? Thanks. Appreciate it.
over here! Much obliged. isn't giving you the job. Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, if Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know.
my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Bring Chen Lin back to me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police! They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. After him! Do it! On it! Sure thing! <laughs> 
Elizabeth. You bet! That'll do! You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt the bat. I am now. not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they happen. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. Hmm. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Lost his job at the Fink plant, and they evicted all of us. Hit it harder! Barely making a goddamn dent. I'm hungry, man. There's his hair over there. Real's all mine. You're the trap. That's it! 
Elizabeth. Okay. There's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. Make no mistake, soldiers. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. One spark, and we'll have a blaze we cannot control.
Elizabeth. On it. Thanks. Take a look at this lock. Oh, this won't take long at all. There.
to be self-evident. As my eye is the puppet! Take this! Got it! Choice! Fire. Or death has no sting! the tools. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Need some help with this? I'll give it a whirl. All done. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. How long are you gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop? God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear to a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then then they must be back, back at the, at the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. see a forest at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber.
They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and the Prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. Like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Right up your alley. <sighs> Child's play. Ready. Shift while they're, they're just folk. 
Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay.
there's a lockpick over there. The hero of the Vox! What the hell are they talking about? Look at that poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Look. The nose. Bleeding. Hard to think it. Just two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. down to it. The only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. enemies delivering a tornado blow hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow
Got one! Sure thing! If I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons, or I created one. None of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or, or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. <laughs> 